So when was full frontal nudity first seen on British TV? The answer was way back in 1957. That's right, a 1957 documentary on naturism called Out of Step is believed to be the first instance of full-on nudity on British TV. And we tried our very hardest to find you something we could show you from that today, and we can't. Uh, so if you've got it, let us know. We'd love to have a look. <laughs> At first, though, uh, do TV nudes at lunchtime give you the willies? If so, you'd best avoid Channel 4's new series Life Class, which kicked off at 12.30 yesterday afternoon. A male model bared all as wannabe artists at home were encouraged to draw what they saw. I'm going to give it a go. In case you missed it, uh, this is what their mince pies had to take in. I should warn you, by the way, that if the sign of a naked man, sausage and all, is likely to upset you, now is a good time to look away. So, how did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt so inadequate in my life. Um, now, um, Artist Maggie Hambling there, uh, helping viewers capture the essence of model Matthew. It makes Matthew? a refreshing... That's his name. Uh, you weren't interested in his name, were you? Uh, it makes a refreshing change from the boring business bods on working lunch, I'll give you that. Some old duffer on bargain hunt, or the brain-dead chat of the so-called loose women. That show's really gone downhill since you know, <laughs> Really gone downhill. Uh, but is it what you want? Yeah. TV watchdogs don't have a problem with it. Full frontal nudity, male or female, is verboten before the 9pm watershed, unless there's a serious educational reason for showing it, and Channel 4 insists life class is indeed seriously educational, which is why the lady who shouts in my head doing the numbers goes, oh, I have to put my glasses on at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, the side of Matthew's manhood was completely non-sexual, they argue, and therefore conforms with another of Ofcom's guidelines. I, for one, was no fan of Matthew, the male, the male model, but I may well check in later today to examine and look at model Tinker Ziffer, who is of the no. female persuasion. Uh, what about you, Kay? Tinker <laughs> made that up. Well, I would like to say that Matthew, I think, had a brat verse rather than a sausage. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, we've got to grow up about this, haven't we? I mean, it's all for now, for now. We're very seaside saucy postcard in oh, this country. Oh, come on, it's fairly contrived, isn't it? Let's do a life drawing class, stick it on in the middle of the day when, no, when from working Channel week or business lunch is on. No, from point of view, it is completely cynical scheduling. Absolutely. I mean, it's as transparent as anything, and yet probably give the loose women a run for the money. In fact, there probably won't be anyone on loose women today. <laughs> they'll all just be watching the telly. They'll sh forget the chat. Um, but actually, it looked a very sensible programme. It's very interesting. And if you can just, OK, give yourself two minutes to giggle, and then watch it. I think it'd be very interesting. I must say, Channel 4 have moved on since Hannah Gordon's watercolour challenge. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> mm. I used to like watching be. Bob Ross. Do you ever see him? He was good doing watercolours. I don't know, he might encourage you know, kids to get the crayons out instead of playing on computer games <laughs> over the summer. <laughs> you don't think it might make some feel inadequate and want to hide under a stone for uh, the rest no, of their life? No, but it is a bit bizarre, isn't it? Yes. I, I wonder if anyone will actually watch it. Oh, they will. Oh, yeah. Are we watching oh, yeah. Tinker Ziff? <laughs> But yeah, but you, you, you might have just have a quick look for two minutes. You won't, you won't stand yeah. there like. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. must say when Ainsley was watching that, he was going to purr. Like, yeah, I mean, it's like. And you know why? He'll sky yeah. 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 <laughs> What a great girl! Uh, do you, you think? Are. Do you yeah. think Ready Steady Cook could be improved with more nudity? <laughs> I think so, uh, especially if you sat uh, <laughs> unclothed uh, um, in the middle of the set. Mm -hmm. No, truthfully, when when you see something like that on television, it's it's just it's only lasting for a week. So let's make the most of it. Let's have a little bit of a tune in, and you know <laughs> we are still obsessed with nudity in yeah. this country. And one of the reasons, I think, is because the weather's probably very unpredictable, yeah, it's very cold. Right. We don't show a lot of flesh. So as soon as someone takes everything off, oh, we're, like, horrified. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, we still... Uh, uh, people driving around in cars and we see an ad with a, a lady with a bra on or something yeah. like that, or Beckham with his knickers or something like that, we're all oh, startled looking, because yeah. it's just a bit of flesh. OK. They seem to be a lot more relaxed. It's just a bit of flesh. It's just a 12.30 lunchtime. Is that the, the time and the place but for you? What a strange lunchtime distinction. What does it matter? <laughs> well, because... It, because, because and you're a different person <laughs> at half-past 12 than you are at half-past 7. Well, it's just like, like cover up the legs on that piano one. <laughs> <laughs> Something in the Victorian It's just that our expectations, I suppose, have been formed over the last 40-odd years of television, mm -hmm. and that is that during the day, you get Muffin the Mule, not... <laughs> 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 Let's throw it open to you. Um, is this what you want on daytime TV? Would you... Would more of you watch if, if I was completely stark naked in an educational and serious point, fashion? I think you're missing point, Kirsty, what do people say? Uh, first, we've got Bobby on one, and he thinks it's refreshing and natural. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, good morning. 
Good morning to you. Uh, that's a Bobby She Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Yes, it's Bobby. Roberta. Uh, Roberta. Uh, so, uh, well, we'll call you Bobby as we're friends. Yes, Bobby. I'm Bobby. OK, uh, so uh, what did you think of Matthew, then? Matthew? The model. The model? I thought it was wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. And I find it very refreshing to see the natural body. It's, um, it's such a natural thing. I was brought up. Um, my parents went to nudist camps and um, a spill flats in um, Hertfordshire um, when I was a little girl. And I've always brought, been brought up with an open mind. Right. And um, colour, creed, anything, you know. Yeah. And I'm, I'm happy with anybody to see anybody. And I think that the human body is a beautiful body. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that is the way. And if you're an artist, which I am, yeah. You know, I, I just think that's the way to look at it. OK, oh, good, good. Uh, and uh, can you understand that some people might not want to see it uh, well, as they're having their sandwiches? Well, perverts out as well, obviously. <laughs> but, you know, you just got to, um, you know, put those aside and, and look at the people that are really interested in it. And okay. there are a lot of people that are really, really interested Yes, in it. I am, for one. So I've declared my interest in Tinker. Would you take off your clothes? Would you take off your clothes yes. and let people draw you? You'd have no yes. problem with that at all. I'm nearly 60. Well, yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. your age because so, it's just a matter of revealing yourself. Well, if you're exactly quite comfortable enough. in your skin, I've that's never what... had a problem with it. Okay, well we, uh, we might get you on yeah. then in that case. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. You're an artist. I want to draw you. Sit there next to the lovely lady in our front row, and we'll do it. We'll draw you. Okay. Right. We'll get your number. You're in touch. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you, Bobby. If it works for Channel Four, it could work for the right stuff. I'm sure of this. Thank you. Let's have another. Uh, Tracy on two thinks people should cover up. Uh, Tracy, good morning. Morning, Matthew. Uh, so, uh, are you shocked by this? I'm not shocked, but I just don't... I think it puts you off having your tea and your It sugar. does. It did me, anyway. Yeah. I'm not shocked by it. You know, I think bodies are lovely, but, no, not during the day. No. Uh, when, do you, when do you think it is appropriate to um, see stuff like that? Um, in your own home. In when? On, in your own home. Not on the television. Oh, in the, OK, not on TV at all? Definitely not. Because Cha Channel 5 used to show some not. really excellent movies late at night, uh, <laughs> and uh, I miss them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the call, Tracy. <laughs> I should tell you that Lifecast is being stripped throughout the week, and that is a technical TV term, by the way. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, male and female alternating uh, throughout the week, which means because it starts on a Monday, you get three men to uh, two women, which seems slightly unfair to me, but there we go. <laughs> It's Channel 4, though. <laughs> <laughs> Alternative. Um, after the break...